Welcome to April's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is Fibonacci number. The Fibonacci numbers uh, form a sequence called the Fibonacci sequence, such that each number is the sum of the preceding ones, starting from 0 and 1. So that is, uh, if it's n, equal, n is 0, then our answer is going to be 0. If n is 1, it's going to be 1. If n is 2, we sum up the two previous ones. So that would be 1. And then if n is 3, then we sum up 2 and 1. That's going to be 3, so on and so forth. So this is a classic programming problem, one that you should definitely know. There are a couple approaches to doing this, actually, actually quite a few, but generally you want to know two ways to do it. You want to either do it recursively or you want to do it iteratively. Now what I mean by that is if we want to do it recursively, we probably have to do from the bottom up. We'll start, or I'm sorry, from the top to the bottom. We'll start with writing a function for n uh, equals this number. And we are going to recursively call our function to return whatever it returns here for n minus 1 plus self.fib n minus 2. We just want to return this. Now all we need to have then is to have some sort of base case. Once it gets to this point, we do have a number to return. So if n equals 0, we know we want to return 0. And if n equals 1, we will know we want to return 1. And after that, this should be it. This would be the classic recursive answer. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not very efficient. One, uh, once our number start, starts increasing quite a bit, it starts getting exponential because we'll be doing a lot of repetitive calls. Now, to avoid that, you can use memoization. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to use the decorator here, LRU cache. And this actually makes it a lot faster in that it's going to automatically store it, uh, the value for whatever n we have here if we've already done it. So this would be O of n time, but it also uses O of n space because of all these repetitive calls, uh, recursive calls. So if we, if we want to avoid that, uh, rather than going from the top bottom, we could just iteratively go from the bottom to top, do a tabulation method. And to do that, we already have our base case here, so we can just store two variables for the previous one and previous two. Previous one would start off by being 1, and previous 2 will start off by being 0, because that's 2 back. Now for i in range of 2 to n plus 1, we are going to calculate our output by simply adding up previous 1 and previous 2. So output equals previous 1 plus previous 2. Now we just need to update our previous 1 to equal previous 2. Oh, I'm sorry, previous 2 then equals previous 1. And our previous one now equals the output. Finally, we, we can return our output right here. Let's make sure this works. And it looks like that's working, so let's submit it. And there we go. So this is also O of n time, but we use constant space because we only have these variables. Now, there are uh, some other solutions using matrices, using formulas. The formula one specifically would be the fastest. It's O of 1 time complexity and O of, a, o of 1 space. Uh, but I, I find it hard to believe that you would like know that on top, like immediately. Maybe if you're uh, very math heavy, you would know it. But I, I don't. So unless I was able to look that up, I wouldn't have known how to do that. So, okay. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.